<clears throat> hey everybody, listen. I never like to complain, but today I'm gonna do a complaint because I'm a little upset about something that happened at the Econo Lodge in Burlington, North Carolina. Yes, I'm calling names. Because uh, about a week ago, week or two, a week ago, a week or two weeks ago, I stayed at the Econo Lodge in Burlington, North Carolina. But let me say this first. I am not trying to associate, I'm not trying to categorize this hotel with all choice hotel brands. I've stayed at the Quality Inn, the Comfort Inn, the Mainstay. Uh, I've stayed at other Econo Lodges. I've stayed at the Clarion. Great stays. I really felt great. I mean, before I stayed in the Econo, I met with another client in Atlanta at the Clarion. I stayed at the Clarion. Wonderful stay. I've stayed at the Econo Lodge in different places, and it's been great stays. Now, this Econo Lodge, this particular one in Burlington, North Carolina, let me tell you something. I wasn't going to say nothing. First, I just notified, you know, guest relations, listen, you know, I'm staying in this hotel, and I woke up the next morning, and I got bites all over me on my thigh, on my uh, shin, on both my forearms, on my shoulders, on my back, on my lower back, is on side my in my inner arms, you know what I'm saying? So I was bitten up, man. And I was upset about that. But you know what? It was like if you make an effort to do something, that's fine. I'm not I'm not looking for you to comp anything. Fix the problem. And I told them that. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, they send you the little same standard, you know, oh, we're going to forward this to the proper people and make sure it's taken care of. And then, you know, you tell the hotel it's the same thing. Oh, we're so sorry about that. Uh, we'll take care of it. All right. So, I go out and buy some bug spray. Spray the bed. You know what I'm saying? Spray the bed, spray around the bed, on the carpet and everything like that. I said, okay. I'm tired, man. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I got a lot to do. So, long story short, I had to go out and meet the client the next day. So I left the bed bug spray. I sprayed again before I left. Let the bed spray day right there on the uh, nightstand by the bed. So I left out and go meet my client. And I was doing some recording and I left my laptop on. So my laptop was actually in record mode because that's what I, it was a project I was working on. So when I came back, I saw my laptop had some uh, had some motion record on. I said, okay, so let me check it, see what's going on. I thought, man, did I not finish? I leave off. So I clicked to watch it and housekeeping claimed it came in to clean the room. It was this one young lady. Now I'm not really i'm not upset with the lady because the lady was being trained so apparently it was her first day because she wasn't even uniform she was being trained i'm upset about whoever this person was that was training her because apparently this is how the hotel does business but i'm gonna let you watch the video and i want you to see if you notice some of the things i noticed and you'll see why i'm upset now the floor may, now I know we don't, we can go get a vacuum, but we probably just pick that up. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks other than that, you don't need to go get a vacuum. Because that's it from a whole bunch of meds. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, man. I know we can go get it. Exactly. So, it's like, 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 it's now, if the customer requests it, of course we'll do it. That's what they want. Or if the customer's not in here, and like, let's say we just pull, if we see a stain, we have to please. Yeah, take it. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, they have like one. They got to change. Maybe change it. Technically, y'all did, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see something like that, please, just yeah. please go and do it. Yeah, go on and do it. Yeah, sure. All right, so what do we do? We're going to fold this back about six inches and one more time. Yeah, oh, yeah. So these are for the kings. Yeah, for the kings. Mm -hmm. And the doubles, I did a double, so I'm not going to make them just pour it all the way up to the pillow and put the pillow to the top. Yeah, kings, yeah. double, double. Ye
do the pillars, you're going to kind of stagger. So we we'll start one here. Mm -hmm. And we we'll kind of stagger and going down. Mm -hmm. oh. Glad we caught it. So what I need to do is I'm gonna get Harold to come in here. Yeah, we got some we got some special spray like commercial. It's not this bullshit they're using. Yeah. So I'll get him to come in here and spray it around. Oh, well, you killed the dude. That's okay. You can spray with the dude. Spray with the dude. Check it out. I didn't hear that. It was in the thing. So look at the back. <laughs> Okay, now, here's the thing that bothered me. I complained about the issue with the room. You did nothing. So we'll take care of it. So now you got a hotel staff member who's training another new staff member comes in the room. Talking about we don't change the sheets except on Wednesday unless the clients ask it. Um, you know, and as they're making up the bed, you can see she finds one of the bugs, shows it to him. And all he does is look at it like, oh, yeah, I had this guy come in and spray. Put the sheet. They don't change the sheets at all. You see there's bugs on the sheets, but you don't take the sheets to change them. You just make the bed up with the bugs and just leave it. In my opinion, all that bed, that bed should have been stripped down. And if you got somebody named David who comes in and spray, you should have called him to come in and spray. Then you should notify me, the customer, like, hey, sir, in the process of cleaning your room, we noticed this, this, this in the bed. So, um, you know, we can move your rooms or if you like, you know, they're spraying. If you can stay out of the room for two hours, we're gonna, uh, we're in the process of cleaning the room, which even that would have been fine with me. If you said we spray, we vacuum and all this. And not to mention, they didn't even vacuum. They said, oh, you can just pick that up off the floor. You don't have to vacuum. So they did nothing. They did absolutely nothing except make the bed up and leave. Talking about, I've had him come spray. Nobody never came and sprayed the room. The room was never sprayed. Not while I was there. So, with all my bites and boat bikes and all this type stuff, it just kind of irked me that, that that's how they just kind of left the situation. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, we'll notify somebody. Oh yeah, we'll spray, we'll do this. Nothing. That's the Econo Lodge in Burlington, North Carolina. Like I say, I'm not saying this is all choice hotels, but I'm really pissed right now at the way they handle stuff. And I'm sort of pissed at Choice Hotels in general because they always do these standard email replies to customer complaints. If you read the replies, they're all the same thing. Just about every hotel has the same generic response back. And you know what? It just kind of irks me that if you see the same consistent complaints, why don't you do something about it? At some point, the complaints need to stop. If people are complaining about trash being in the rooms when they check in, at a certain point, you should have your hockey know that, okay, trash needs to come out. There should be something in place. If you go to a room and you see that you spot that there's bed bugs, then you know what? You should have some type of policy to say, you know what? Strip the bed down. If the guest is not there, leave a note for the guest to come and contact us and we'll notify the guests that we want to change their rooms or we'll give them that option at least. Instead of just making it up and being like, oh, well, we got ours. So, yeah, I'm a little upset with Choice Hotels right now, but more specifically, this O'Connor Lodge in Burlington, North Carolina. So if you are staying in Burlington, North Carolina and you're going for a trip, the city, fine. There's a place called May Seafood. Man, you got to go try it. Great seafood. Econo Lodge, Burlington, North Carolina. Man, stay away from that Econo Lodge. The one in Burlington, North Carolina, do not stay there. I'm telling you, if you got reservations, cancel your reservation at the hotel and stay somewhere else. That hotel is, 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 is just poor.
it's poor. I mean, even the bathtub, you don't want to take a bath. I didn't even want to put my soap thing in the soap thing. I mean, my I, and I carry like the soap container, so I didn't even want to put it in the tub. So do not stay at the Brothers in North Carolina Hotel unless they can show that they fix some things. You know what I'm saying? So when they can show that they made some adjustments and fix some things and choice hotels as a overall arcing, uh, you know, do whose control who all these hotels fall under can actually step in and say listen you got to bring your stuff up to par when they do that if they do that i'll apologize to this for this video but they won't so i won't have to apologize for this video but do not stay in the Econo Lodge in Burlington, North Carolina. I'm sorry, y'all don't want to respond. So you know what? I'm about to put you on blast like this. Fix the problem.